Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have a nice functional equations of f of cosh x equals exponential x. And what is f of x? So there are two different things here. We have hyperbolic functions and uh, exponential function. And we are asked to find f of x. So to solve this problem is very, very simple as I'm going to be solving it in the next five seconds. Let's get into it. So when we consider the solution from here, the domain of this initial function is given as hyperbolic cos hx. So the h here, it makes it an hyperbolic function. And uh, hyperbolic functions is of cos x is given as suppose we have cos x is given as exponential of x plus exponential of minus x divided by 2 this is the equivalence um, value of cos x in hyperbolic function and uh, in exponential function then by replacing the whole of this here we are going to have f of exponential of x plus exponential minus x divided by 2 equals exponential of x. It is not left to us to find f of x, but these are very, very huge. They are very, very big. We need only x, but here we have e power x, e power minus x divided by 2. How can we reduce this to f of x? We are going to apply the substitution method as the whole of e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 will let it to be another letter. Suppose I make e power of x plus e power of minus x to be equals 2t. So by letting this one to be equals to 2t, then I need to make x the subject of the formula. But it is now on the power of exponential. What to do is, we are going to multiply 2 out by exponential x. Multiplying 2 by exponential x, this becomes e power x multiplied by e power x plus e power x multiplied by e power of minus x equals 2t multiplied by e power of x. And... By this, e power x multiplied by e power x becomes 1. So e power x multiplied by e power of x becomes e power of 2x. Then plus this cancelled and we have it as 1 equals 2t e power of x. And after having this, let's collect 2t multiplied by e power x to this left hand side. As we have e power of 2x minus 2t e power of x plus 1 equals 0. So this forms a quadratic because the power of this one is 2. Suppose I let, if I let e power of, e power of x to be equals p, for instance. So this one becomes p squared. It becomes p squared minus 2tp plus 1 equals 0. So this is now looking good as a quadratic because there is a power of 2 at this p. And this also p at the base, like at the root of this equation. So they are the one we are going to find, not t. So this 2t uh, is just like the coefficient of p. Let's see how we get the value of p out of this and find the value of x. From what we have above, we have p power of 2 minus 2tp plus 1 equals 0. So this is what we have. Then by applying the quadratic equations, we have a as 1, which is coefficient of p squared. And we have b as minus 2t, that is coefficient of p. And we have c equals 1. So having all this, it is enough for us to apply the quadratic equations as 
uh, we are going to call we call from the standard as p equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a so we substitute everything in this formula p equals minus open bracket b is given as minus 2t plus or minus the square root of b here is given as minus 2t squared minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 and c is 1 divided by 2a then after having this we are going to have p equals minus times minus that is plus which means this one becomes plus 2t plus or minus the square root of minus will be affected and change to plus because of this squared then 2 squared is 4 and uh, we have t squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 that is 4 everything divided by divided by 2 so here we have p equals 2t plus or minus by taking out 4 and apply the square root on that we are going to have 2 multiply by the square root of t squared minus 1 divided by 2 so next we have p equals 2 is common here by factoring out 2 we have this as t plus or minus the square root of t squared minus 1 divided by 2 and when 2 cancels 2 we are going to get p equals t plus or minus the square root of t squared minus 1 this is what we have but initially from cos hx cos hx equals exponential x plus exponential minus x divided by 2 the exponential x here is always greater than 0 as the x is greater than or equals 0 here is the domain of it then since we have known this as we need only the positive value here we don't need anything like negative at this point so by replacing this p with exponential x exponential x is always greater than zero therefore we are going to neglect the negative and go with positive only so by going with positive only this shows that the value of our f of t will be equals t plus the square root of t squared minus one and by changing this t to x we have f of x equals x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 so where this x is greater than or equals 1 this is how we solve this problem beautifully thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye